Hi, and welcome back to Peter for Magic. Today's trick is called the spelling trick. I'm going to take you through the performance, and then I'm going to take you through a tutorial for how the trick is done. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please can you click that red button in the bell, and you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video to the channel. Okay, the spelling trick. What you need to do is give the cards a couple of cuts, and you're going to deal off the top five cards of the deck. So we have the six of clubs, we have the 10 of hearts, we have the king of spades, we have the eight of hearts, and we have the jack of diamonds, okay? Now what you need is one audience member, and they're gonna think of any card they want, okay? They're not gonna tell you what the card is, but they can think of any one of these cards, but they're not gonna let you know, okay? But for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna use a dice, and I hope not to roll a six. So let's have a go, okay? Okay, so we've got four. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So that's gonna be their chosen card, but they haven't told us yet, okay? But it's gonna be the eight hearts. What you do is you collect the cards up and you put them right on the top of the deck, okay? Now, the next thing you do, what you wanna do is give the cards a cut, uh, and then you can give it a three-word cut if you want. You're gonna mi mix the cards up, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna ask the audience member what was their chosen card, okay? So the chosen card was the eight of hearts. Okay, so that's the first time they're gonna let you know. Now what you're gonna to try to do is you're gonna to try to find their card by spelling out eight of hearts, okay? As this is the spelling trick. Okay, so here we go, we're gonna spell it out. So E-I-G-H-T-O-F-H-E-A-R-T -E and S. Now how amazing would it be if this card is their chosen card, the eight of hearts, and they had a completely free choice. And there you go, the eight of hearts. How amazing is that? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through the tutorial how the trick is done. Okay, time for the tutorial for the spelling trick. Now there's a couple of things you need to do uh, to set up before you start this trick. You need to take out of the pack five cards, six of clubs, the 10 of hearts, king of spades, the eight of hearts, and the jack of diamonds. So that's the first part. Now these five particular cards are very special if, of the actual value of the name of the card. So six of clubs, if you add it up, S-I-X-O-F-C-L-U-B-S, that equals to 10. If you do the same on each of the other ones, 10 of hearts adds up to 11, king of spades, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so that's why these particular cards are used uh, to do the actual volume uh, of the spelling of the, of the cards. Okay, the next thing you need to do is take out nine cards. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so these nine cards you're going to place in your pocket or you can have them on your lap, depending on where you want to put them. But you need to keep these to one side. And what you're going to do, you're going to palm these cards in a minute. Okay, I'm going to place those just to one side. Just place them there. Now these, these cards here, these five cards, you're going to place these jack down on the top of the deck and you're ready to go for the spelling trick. Now the first part of the trick is just convinces. So you can do a couple of fake cuts. Um, I've put a few of these on the channel in the past. So there, a few of them are just uh, um, convinces that you're gonna be um, shuffling or cutting the deck. But the most important thing is you don't disturb the top five cards. Okay, so they're there uh, undisturbed. Now when you perform the trick, you're gonna, you're gonna save, mix the cards up, give them a couple of fake cuts and then you're gonna deal down five random cards. So make it look like they're five random cards. You've got, okay, we've got six of clubs, 10 of hearts, king of spades, eight of hearts, and king of diamonds. Now you're gonna ask them, like I did in the performance, to choose any card, but don't tell me yet what card you're thinking of. Just think of any card you want, okay? So for the, for the tutorial, let's have uh, the 10 of hearts, okay? So you place them on the top. Now at this point, when you're talking to them, you can ask them now what their card is, just to distract them. Now you're gonna go into your pocket uh, or on your lap and you're gonna grab these nine cards. So you're gonna to talk to him, what is the card you've chosen? They're gonna say the 10 of hearts, they'll go great. And as you do, you come across and you're just gonna place down on top the nine cards, okay? By adding the nine cards, you actually, because it is a mathematical self-working trick, it's gonna be plusing nine. So you've got the 10, uh, the six of clubs will be 10 plus nine, which is 19. You've got the uh, 10 of hearts, which is 11. Plus nine is 20, so it goes 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Okay, so that, that is the, uh, the logic behind it. Now from here, 
You can do a couple of more cuts and fake shuffles, but you're not going to disturb the top portion of the cards. Now, you, they can pick any card they, they want. It will work out for, for any of the five cards. So for this, they're going to say the Ten of Hearts. So you're going to spell it out. T-E-N-O-F-H-E-A-R-T. -E and then the last letter, you're going to turn it over and you say, look, how amazing would this be if it's your chosen card, the Ten of Hearts? And look at that. How cool is that? You're going to get some really good reaction on this. It's a really, really good trick. Very simple. It's just more, more on a performance and the convinces and just playing around with the trick. Have a fantastic week. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.